And you know what it is? It's wormholes. We're done with black holes. Time to move on. <laughs> wormholes that travel through time. Or wormholes they... are shortcuts through space and time. At this point, we've come to recognize what a black hole could be, but what on earth are wormholes? Well, if you've seen the movie Interstellar, you'll know that there's a pretty solid explanation for what a wormhole is, despite many believing that the possibility of it existing to be none. We've deemed wormholes to be just a concept of science fiction, but why could it exist in theory? Scientists now claim to have captured an image of this fictional concept in reality through the James Webb Telescope. But is it actually what it seems to be? Do they really exist? If you already didn't know, wormholes are just a theory. A theory that postulates that a theoretical passage through space-time could create shortcuts for long journeys across the universe. Wormholes are predicted by the theory of general relativity. In 1935, Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen used the theory of general relativity to elaborate on the idea, proposing the existence of bridges through space-time. These bridges connect two different points in space-time, theoretically creating a shortcut that could reduce travel time and distance. The shortcuts came to be called Einstein-Rosen bridges, or in other words, wormholes. Wormholes contain two openings with a hollow cylinder connecting the two, according to an article published in the Journal of High Energy Physics in 2020. The opening would most likely be spheroidal. The throat might be a straight stretch, but it could also wind around, taking a longer path than a more conventional route might require. Einstein's theory of general relativity mathematically predicts the existence of wormholes, but none have been discovered to date. A negative mass wormhole might be spotted by the way its gravity affects light that passes by. Certain solutions of general relativity allow for the existence of wormholes, where the mouth of each is a black hole. However, a naturally occurring black hole formed by the collapse of a dying star does not by itself create a wormhole. Stephen Sue, a professor of theoretical physics at the University of Oregon, said, The whole thing is very hypothetical at this point. No one thinks we're going to find a wormhole anytime soon. I guess that's about to change sooner rather than later. The main and original mission of the James Webb Space Telescope might have been to help researchers unravel cosmic mysteries, but a new group of images seems to have an agenda of its own. The search to prove fact from fiction. Pictures of the Messier 74 galaxy released on the 24th of July have caught the eyes of researchers and enthusiasts alike across the globe, and it's quite evident to see why. The spiral galaxy, also called NGC 628, has been dubbed the Phantom Galaxy by space enthusiasts and looks like something straight out of a science fiction movie. The images have revealed that the galaxy looks absolutely magnificent, so much so that it almost seems like a portal to travel through multiverses. Here's the problem, though. As much as all of that sounds really cool, in reality, this ethereal structure sits 32 million light years away from Earth. Yeah, you heard that right. Don't pack your bags just yet. Originally, Charles Messier discovered the M74 galaxy in 1780, and it's said to be a perfect example of a grand design spiral galaxy best observed during November. Clusters of young blue stars can be seen in the arms of this galaxy, and the ultraviolet light from these stars makes the pink regions glow. I don't need to tell you how good it looks, it really is that pretty. Previously, the Hubble telescope imaged M74 in 2003 and 2005, while the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope and the Gemini Observatory also captured it with additional details. It did provide us with some really substantial views of the galaxy, but the powerful infrared sensors of JWST have been an incredible boon to human discovery, granting us an unparalleled visual of the galaxy. 
The Phantom Galaxy is just one of the stunning images generated with data from the Webb Telescope. These images are a part of the physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies, or FANGs in short, a project that investigates the link between stars and molecular gas in spiral galaxies, which is another attempt to explain star origins through gas heating and collapse. Judy Smith, the space image processor who posted the initial images, explains, The glowing strands and flocks of dust which would normally be dark in visible light imagery are instead bright and glowing with infrared light from JWST. The FANGS project is a treasury program designed to create fundamental datasets via the JWST that will enable further compelling investigation into this. Gabriel Brommer, an astronomer at the Niels Bohr Institute at the University of Copenhagen, posted another version of this image, adding an unbelievable purple haze to this fascinating galaxy. In a series of tweets, he explains that while the galaxy might not be perceivable through a normal eye, the purple glow in the processed image arises from the presence of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, a molecule from the emissions of the NGC 628. The image is this striking purple color because of the way the data is processed in order to show off the structures of dust and hydrocarbons which swirl around the galaxy. The data used was taken on July 17, 2022 at three different wavelengths in the mid-infrared. 7.7 micrometers, 10 micrometers, and 11 micrometers. The galaxy looks very different in visible light wavelengths. The leader of the web part of the FANGS research, Janice Lee of the National Science Foundation's Noir Lab, said before the observations began that Webb could provide vital insights into understanding the life of stars. Lee said in a statement, JWST touches on so many different phases of the stellar life cycle, all in tremendous resolution. Webb will reveal star formations at its very earliest stages, right when gas collapses to form stars and heats up the surrounding dust. That's all really cool, but that doesn't really answer the question. Well, the answer to that, like anything else in Cosmos, is way more complicated. Space data does appear to show a wormhole spinning before our very eyes. The Phantom Galaxy glows eerily in a new image based on James Webb Space Telescope data collected with the observatory's mid-infrared instrument, or MIRI. Schmidt said, I've been doing this for 10 years now and Webb's data is new, different, and exciting. The image highlights the dust lanes in the galaxy, giving it the perfect spiral title by some astronomers because the galaxy is so symmetrical. The Phantom Galaxy is scientifically interesting because of the intermediate mass black holes scientists believe is at its heart. What makes web imagery stand apart from these past efforts is the mid-infrared range that highlights cosmic dust along with the power of its unique 18-segment hexagonal mirror and deep space location. According to the new images, a team of scientists from the University of Manchester now believes the early universe may have included as many as 10 times more galaxies similar to ours. One of the study's co-authors, Professor Christopher Conselis, reveals that the new telescope is able to show scientists the nature of objects that were known to exist but didn't understand how and when they formed. Conselis said, We knew we would see things Hubble didn't see, but in this case, we're seeing things differently. These are the process we need to understand if we want to understand our origins. This might be the most important telescope ever, at least since Galileo's. Scientists the world over remain abuzz as they sift through piles of data coming from the Webb Telescope. Two independent teams have recently said they might have found the very origins of the universe. Wormholes might be a crucial part of that origin, or maybe they just might be another theoretical tale. As for Messier 74, the images are pretty fresh, as you can imagine, hence investigating further would reveal more of what's actually at the center. But for now, I guess we'll have to just wait and see if the James Webb really did capture such a cosmic miracle. So, what do you think? What is at the center of Messier 74? Is it just another black hole, or do we finally have a portal into a new realm?
And what more will the James Webb Telescope tell us about Messier 74? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.